Normally we'd be hearing and seeing kids on the baseball and softball diamonds across the tri-state, but many are left wondering when or even if they'll have a season. Some ballparks depend on that money to stay afloat. Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us how one is doing everything it can to be ready as soon as the governor says it can open. Teal Town Ballpark in Claremont County would normally be filled with kids and their parents, but the 17 fields are empty. Ballpark President Bobby Tominski wants to be ready to open as soon as Governor Mike DeWine gives the okay, so they're already working on a safety plan, which would include parents of the older kids dropping them off and then staying in their cars to watch. Younger kids, you know, obviously you have kids that are four, five, six, you can't do that with those kids. Um, so that we would ask parents to social distance, you know, hang out down the baselines, hang out in the outfields, um, things like that, because obviously a young kid at that age is not going to want to be there without their parents. Everyone who works at the park will wear one of these homemade masks to try and stop anyone from spreading the virus. But Tominski says they're not going to make parents wear masks. But we can ask coaches and, you know, families that come, you know, if they are able to wear a mask, we would love it just to kind of keep everything down. More than 350 players and coaches on over 30 teams use the facility. Kids as young as four and as old as 16 get to step up to the plate. Because the facility is so big, Tominski thinks that will make it easier to keep people separated. And we'll be wiping anything and everything down with disinfectant. All the volunteers at the ballpark are hoping it opens up soon and they can salvage what's left of the season. After all, all their money comes from the registrations and tournaments. We're kind of in a fight, you know, just like everybody else is, um, you know, but we have no money generating right now. You know, we're kind of sitting at a standstill and just waiting to see what happens. In Union Township, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. And so far, there's been no word from the governor's office on when recreational sports like baseball and softball complexes will be able to reopen.